putting the finishing touches on the upstairs nightstand and upstairs closet, all on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Alright, been, um, I got sick Friday night, late Friday night. My throat was all sore and it was bad yesterday, it was stuffy as hell, so my throat's a little bit better today. Uh, still real stuffy, but gotta get back to work if I want to get things done. So I'm back out here working again today, Sunday being the 12th. Oh, December. A fun date! One, two, one, two, two, one! Uh, so those boards I painted late Friday night, got them right here. I'm gonna bring those up and try to get those into place to finish uh, creating the rest of the nightstand. So I've got those to bring up, and I've put the uh, panels into the doors for the nightstand and the closet. So see, so you got those in there like, just like that. Doesn't that look nice? Gives it a little bit extra texture, a little bit extra look, and now of course it'll match all the other stuff inside the truck. So there's the one for the nightstand that'll be going in that direction. And then I have the, I almost did this wrong. <laughs> so I remembered, oh yeah, this one's going horizontally. So I needed to make sure that the uh, grain on the paneling matched everything else, which is all going up and down everywhere. I almost, I almost nailed it down wrong, but just nailed onto the back like that. But that frames that out, makes that look real nice. We'll put the knobs in once I get it in place and decide exactly where I want the knob to be. And the hinges, uh, kind of the same thing. I'm gonna get that up there. First, I'm gonna try to see what I can do about building the rest of that nightstand. All right, brought them all up there and got them all to basically fit into place. I, I got to do a little, do a little notch on one board um, to make it fit around the wire that's popping through the wall. But otherwise, uh, I had to trim the other board a couple of times on the other side because the plastic wall comes in ever so slightly uh, to make that work. So I got all that figured out, brought it all back down. I'm gonna put it together down here because that's gonna be easier, then bring it up as one piece, the whole wall and door and everything all in one. So that's what we're doing. All right, so there's essentially the front part of the nightstand area. Uh, you're actually looking at it upside down. This will be, as you're coming up the steps, and that's the way you'll see it. The door will open this way, hinges are already on, isn't that nice? And this board here is going to be covering up all that other that sandwich blocks of wood in there that everything they're holding the you know, whole bunk system up into the structure of the truck. So that's the whole purpose of this, that's why I couldn't move the door over anymore, so that that can cover all that up. So. I'll go ahead and put the knob on and the latch on while it's down here, but it'll make it a little bit easier. All right, so here's everything put together. And here's the knob now on it and the latch. You can hear it working, you see that right in there. Those little wheels. Goes onto that catch you can see right there. So when you close it, ah, it closes out so nicely. You have to give it a, a little bit of a tug. That's why these are good for, you know, RVs or like this, a truck moving vehicle. All right, now we'll bring it up there and see if I can secure it in as best I can right now. I'm going to be putting a shelf. It's going to come up about this high. It's going to attach it to the walls that are already up there. I've got to measure once I get this in and then cut that shelf and put it in place. Don't have to paint that one because I'm going to be using that same foam stuff I showed you videos ago that I was going to use for my downstairs countertop. And I'll be using that up there. Uh, I'll cut it exactly to fit. It's going to hop around the little wall, uh, the joint in the wall between the extension and the main section and should make it look all good. Okay, as you're coming up the steps then, this is where the wall with the door in it's gonna be. And part of the reason to put that board over there was see to cover up all this stuff, which is just there as support for the main structure of the upper bed area. But I just need to cover that up. So it'll be kind of an extra little hiding cubby inside my uh, nightstand area. Okay, hard to get far enough back while I'm sitting up here too. Here's, here's my knees. But anyway, got all that in, so you can see, it kind of looks like a top and around that wall, but these two boards are joined together there. I screwed them in on this side, right there. Okay, you can see where those screws are. And then since it was already all put together, then the only other place to screw it into was down inside here, into that big beam coming across, so I put in three screws there, one, two, 
in three. It was already put together. That doesn't need to screw into anything. This goes up against the wall fairly nicely. All right, so we close our door up. I'll put a board inside there, so that'll be the top that will cover that up, but not all the way up to these sideboards. So I'll have a space that'll sit in there. So now looking ahead here, so we just open our door and we have access. We'll have access to that little funny area down there. Not much I can do with that one. <laughs> Stick a water bottle there or something to hold it upright, right? All right, and you just close it up and latch is closed. All right, there's a little bit better angle on it if I get it to focus. So now you can see when you come up the landing or come up the steps here and you're on the landing, then that nightstand door will be right in front of you and you hop over to the bed. Yeah, I apologize if I don't sound as with it as usual. I'm still just not feeling all that good, but I really felt like I had to come out here and get something finished today. I'm sure you can understand that feeling. So maybe to pep everybody up, it's bed sketch time! Bad sketch time! Bad sketch time! Okay, so here's essentially the shape of the board that needs to go up there. Uh, it'll be the sh top shelf of my nightstand area. Unfortunately, everything's not the square corners. Like I measured uh, at that back wall uh, with the closet, and that's about 14 inches. You come down a little bit, it's about 14 and a quarter. Uh, this one from the back wall of the closet up to the front of the nightstand area is about 18 and a quarter. You move over here, it's 18 and a half. That's 20 inches all the way from the front right corner of the nightstand over to the plastic wall that was already inside the truck. That has to curve in. Here's where that vent is, by the way, up there. And this is for the extension now. And this is where it'll be coming over that uh, joint between the extension and the uh, main section that was already there. Above the shelf, I'll be putting wrapping that in vinyl uh, and padding that to put a nice, you know, like you would on a camper or, uh, well, camper. I know years ago when my parents had a, had a pickup, they had an international pickup. Remember, international used to make pickups, yeah. Uh, and they had a camper on it. And then you had the little back door of your cab, or back window, and uh, you could get the sliding window in there. And then you put in a little boot, is what they called it, that uh, then would, you know, join the inside of the camper with the inside of the cab of the truck. And it was usually one you could just kind of put up there or you could inflate, there was something you could inflate. So I'm kind of using the same theory then to uh, do the junction. As you can see up there behind me, I'm pointing to it right now. See between the plastic ceiling that's already there, there's the junction inside the fiber, between that wall and the fiberglass, and then the new section. So I'm gonna be putting a vinyl wrap that's padded on there as kind of a boot or junction in between the two. Um, also, uh, drivers, if you're familiar with like the Pete, old Pete 387s, um, or 386s, remember the 386s? And they had the unibody sleeper on them, uh, but the cab was uh, still a little bit different and they had kind of a boot on those. So it's the same kind of concept. I do not anticipate the cutting of this uh, shelf board uh, to go all that well, because like I said, it, it's not perfect corners, so, you know, I'm going to have to, I'm sure, measure and cut once, bring it up, see how badly it fits in, see where I need to trim, bring it back down, try trim, I'm probably going to have to trim two or three times just to try to get it to fit in there to where I can then screw it in to the sidewalls. It'll give extra rigidity to the whole system up there. And then once it's in, like I say, that, that corner, that curved part where it's going in front of the vent, that doesn't have to be perfect. I have to cut the little foam piece that's going to go in there perfectly, but it'll be a lot easier to cut. All right, actually, I was pretty close on attempt number one, uh, believe it or not. So there's the little cutout uh, that goes towards the front. And uh, yeah, I just need to do a little more trimming. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, I marked it right about there. And uh, so if I shave just a little bit more off of there on this side, me thinks it might work. All right, after just trimming once, got the board to fit. Even over there in front of the uh, vent area. 
you can see it's down a little bit <clears throat> from the lip there of the front of that rail and down from over there because I'm going to put this stuff down as kind of the countertop and it's a little bit thick I'm going to have to cut that perfectly to fit in there but I went ahead and got that shelf screwed in in the front right up there and along the side which you can't really see as easily but over there as well and then even through the back of the closet so it's held on the front side the side side and the rear side all in three points to hold up that little shelf and it's just going to be throwing keys and my wallet have a drink up there maybe or something that's all that has to hold up but now that's closed off that whole area so i think actually went better than i thought it would all right well i tried cutting the foamy countertop stuff <laughs> on the table saw and it kept catching on the blade and then kept ripping some more off. Otherwise it came out pretty good so since I probably can't use this piece I'm going to put it up there and see how close I am and use it as a template. Look I'm covered in foam crap. I've just been covered in crap from the beginning of this project. You know at least not literal crap. Eesh, that would be nasty. Okay, you'll love this. I got it cut and it's almost a perfect fit. I need to trim a little bit along this edge. Uh, leave a little bit extra here and cut a little bit more right there. Problem is, I cut it upside down! So if I want a white foam <laughs> part going up, yeah, it's fine. Clutch trucker ain't perfect, baby. Okay, got the foam countertop thing cut. Right side up this time. Hopefully it'll fit. I like the look of it. It's just got this nice gray and white kind of look. It's a thick foam. So if you throw something down on it, it won't hurt anything. So, you know, hopefully... This looks like the board I cut earlier, right? <laughs> Let's hope this works. I'm not feeling good. I don't have much patience. Okay, I got what will be the countertop. Basically, to fit in there, it bubbles up a little bit right here. In the middle. So, I think my solution is going to be... This is cut close enough. I'm going to glue this mofo down, baby and then it should be good to go. As I always say in these videos, should have that have taken an hour and a half? No! It's foam and it's being weird. So it's basically cut to shape. I'm just gonna glue that and take some Gorilla Glue out and glue that mother down there. And that should take care of it. I want to at least move on to putting the ceiling in the closet, putting the closet door on, putting the knob in, putting the hinges on, so I can say for the most part, the upper stuff up there will be done. So let's move on. All right, real tough to see there, but that's the ceiling I'm putting up inside the closet. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gotta be the inside ceiling so I can put up insulation for the outside. So that's all I'm working on right now. If I pull back, all right, now you can see the opening here for the closet in the upstairs area. I'm crunched down in here. It's very small. But look, that way you can see towards the front of the truck. Here's my new nightstand area. Once I glue that down, that'll look better. But, you know, I'm doing what I can. So I'm going to try to put this board up now, and then we're going to call it. So first thing I'm going to do up here is uh, put the hinges on this side of my closet door. Okay, now looking on things, <clears throat> here I am. I'm hanging over the front rail of my bed area right now. I'm up on my first step so I can get up here enough to see. Alright, so there's, let me get the light on. 
so there's my nightstand area with my door you can see that right there hinges on the side got the knob to pull it out with and if I go up let me go up a step and you can see the essentially countertop for that nightstand area wraps around between the new area there's the wall there with the back wall of the truck there's that vent on the side I've got the uh, countertop stuff going on right in front of that it has a lip there so anything I throw up there will stay up there there you go see they can sit up right there and they won't fall out while I'm driving and I have that great door there that sideboard covers up all the uh, support system for the truck for the upper mattress or an upper bunk area I'll swing out here you can see now there's my closet door in place and I'll climb up and give you some more video so like I said here's the landing here's the bed area and with a whole new section in the back with the lights and everything so as you're climbing up here you can open up this nightstand area big space back there I can put a like a plastic box I'll find a good dimension there it'll fit that so with that lip right there it'll keep it from falling out and I can just use the area here in front just to put little miscellaneous items and up over that back wall there I can stand like a water bottle up in there or something so that'll be good close that door and that latch works so well there's my countertop for my nightstand area it helps blend everything now between the old and the new looking back towards the front you come up the stairs there into the landing then you'll have there's my door for my nightstand area countertop area which is still puffy because I haven't glued it down yet but I will my switch for my lights oh so nice I did test plugging in my iPhone right there into the uh, USB outlet on the uh, <clears throat> electric outlet and it works well okay now there you can see again right there that's the plastic between the what was the inside and the fiberglass outside wall and I'm going to be wrapping that in vinyl all the way across the top here so it'll look really nice <clears throat> that's that kind of boot look I was talking about <clears throat> now if you look over this way then this will be the, the foot of my bed my mattress will be back here my feet will go in this area and now I have this great closet right here that I can open up and look at all the storage in there lots of storage way down yes I'll clean up the sawdust and so that gives me extra storage up here just close that up it latches perfectly nice looking door with the paneled look that I have continued over here with the nightstand door and you can't see it down here now but that'll match everything else in the truck so that's the whole point just to make it all match and look good the mattress will go up to about here by the way got the vinyl look on the back so our new area for all intents and purposes is done baby yeah all right trying to get as far back as I can towards the driver's side wall so you can see how everything looks up there the new closet door and the sleeper area I think it's good a little countertop there or nightstand area and the cabinet below 
So that's where I say, for the most part, the new extension for the uh, bed and everything, other than, you know, filling up that, you know, gap in between, which I'll get to soon, is pretty much done. So now you get a good idea of how the whole bed will be up here. There's my driver's side window on the upper area. Cabinet will still go here. I haven't built that yet. We've got our closet back there. Nightstand, door there. Area on top. Light switch, outlet. Coming up the steps. I think you can get a whole idea now. So, there you go. It's getting there, baby. It's getting there. And of course, we have yet to fill out the closet here in the lower area. There's our door covering the microwave and the Ninja Footy, the toilet, and everything else. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, well, like I say, I'm still not feeling all that well. I'm, I'm fighting this cold. Should all of that have taken a total of like, you know, eight hours today? No. But it did. Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. So anyway, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll start working on the outside of the box. Weather's supposed to be good, so uh, I'll be putting up the insulation, uh, putting up the outer skin, and we'll go from there. So there you go. Alright, well thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, still not feeling the best today, but... I was determined to get something done. At least we got the nightstand area done and the closet door up, so that's a start. We'll try to keep doing more here as the days continue. Big yawn. Well, let's see, it's nighttime. It's bedtime for him. He's going to go inside and he gets to climb in bed with my wife, and I'm going to come back out here and work. He's going to watch some fun shows today, so I, I spent some time doing that and just trying to feel better. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment if you'd like to. I get your comments usually within 24 hours while doing this project. Don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. We have a word, hi. It's called recidative. Repeat offender. Well, that's one bonehead name, man, but that don't apply to me no more. Okay, then. All right, Rusty, there it is. Gotta go fetch it. Ah, oh, yes. Eating the bacon strip in what will be the bed area. Happy dog. See, this gives us a better angle on you, Rusty. That's why we like this one up here. Oh, yes. Boy, I think you got it all in just a couple of bites there, buddy. Yeah, so here's a happy dog. Look over here. Oop. You coming down? Okay. Want to try to do it on your own? Not so sure. <laughs>